Okay, Mario's getting ready to mix some more paper. Earlier, uh, we went down to the market, and I've got a video of that that I may tie in, or I might make it like a part one of this. But here she is mixing up some of her paint here, and there's the carrageenan. You see, it was cooked about a half an hour and given plenty of time to cool down. You see, you can even see a little bit of this seaweed in there. That's okay. That doesn't come out on the paper at all. Nothing at all on the paper. And here you see she's got some paint mixed up there. The off gold. And her brushes. And take a look at this. Of the different things she's using now for, uh, for rakes in here. Here's a hairbrush she's taken apart to do a wider rake. Here's a plastic container she cut up to see what that does like, what that does. And she uses that sometimes. Here's another one she's made out of cardboard. You can see the little bit of paint that's on there. And here's one with a made with fish bone on it. Broken fish bone. Yeah, the fish bone got broke. One piece of fish bone. But here's one she made up with needles. There's one of the videos where I show her making them with the needles. And telling them off. There's one needle slid down in this one here. Yeah. And here's one made with paper and toothpicks. Another fine one made with needles. I'm telling you, if it's got needles or points on it, I would use it to make marble paper. She just picked up this comb. It's in the video. She picked it up today to pull around here and see what that one comes out to do. This one here, I know she uses this one a lot. She likes this little one right here. Here's a larger one with the needle with the toothpicks very, very close together. There you go. There's the alcohol. We get the alcohol. We mix it with the uh, alcohol so it preserves it. Otherwise, that alcohol, that that the alcohol was sour, and it gets really, really rough. <laughs> She says she'll mix a little bit of paint here, but she's not going to mix it all because it's her secret ingredient she's got to put in afterwards. <laughs> it's like a face she backed up and gave me a... <laughs> she says, not my secret ingredient. I'm not going to do it on a camera. I guess she had part of it already pre-mixed. I thought she had to finish making it. She says, no, I mixed it already. I just waited to put the oxygen in. See it real lightly floating up on top. And that puts a good background color in it. Now this is all going to be tied into a CD I'm doing. And the CD is going to be, it's going to actually have the PDF files on it. But it will also have this movie in here. It's going to be kind of an interesting CD. It'll be a combination. And, I, and I'll tell the story how this whole thing started. It's, it's actually a pretty neat story. The whole story of how the marbling started. I suppose I could do it right now. I suppose I could do that right now. We'll just have to be included in a part of the video that goes in the uh, CD then. Uh, what we were doing, what we did, Myra, Myra and I was down at the market and we were walking through several months ago now. And when she was looking at the different, I, I'm, always, I'm always interested to look at the different things inside of the market. I and mean, there's all different kind of fish I've never seen before. Uh, even meats and cuts I've never seen. But we were walking by and we were looking at the, the seaweed. 
And Mara says, oh, I love that seaweed. I eat it all the time. I really, I really like that seaweed. And uh, I didn't pay much attention to what she said when she talked about the seaweed until she started talking about cooking it. And she said, well, when you, she says, I eat it raw because if you cook it, it disappears. She says, it almost disappears and it makes the water thicker. And I started thinking about marble paper I made in the United States that we used carrageenan. And carrageenan, the carrageenan powder. And carrageenan powder is the seaweed that's been processed. And I said, geez, uh, it makes the water thicker. I wonder if that's what that, what, if that would work if they do marbling over here. And I didn't really think I would be doing any marbling over here in the Philippines. And uh, Mara picked some up then and brought it on home. We decided to experiment with it. Well, at first it was way too thick, way too thick. I mean, we have a movies and we have videos of it, and it's extremely thick, and it stuck to the paper, and it come off in globs, and it looked really, really bad. But we did get a print, and it was kind of neat because we got a print, and Myra had never seen such a thing before. Then we took the seaweed, and we thinned it out a little bit, put more water in it, Mara's going, one more, one more, and she wants to do one more paper here. We've got probably about, um, we've got over 500 papers now. Now that 500, there's uh, 350 to 400 that are actually scanned and indexed that uh, are soon going to be available on... Uh, on CD. I'll probably send this on through eBay. We also have a site that's Philippine Marble Paper. And all you have to do is search that Philippine Marble Paper. We come up all over the place. Um, everything from videos to uh, to our store. I mean, we have a the store we sell online is Vintage Collage and uh, Marble Paper's information and stuff about the different marbles. Mara seems to love making these papers. I've woken up at 4.30 in the morning already and she's over here doing her paper. We do them in the apartment next to us because there's actually more room over here to lay them out and let them dry on the floor. If you see any other videos, Myra usually likes to be sitting down on the floor doing it, but she said for this video that we would set up here at the table and do them. She says, down on the floor I can be sloppy and it's real easy to clean up because as you see when you start flicking that paint, it goes all over. Very nice. See, this one here also had the fish bone look to it. Okay, uh, this one is a wrap. Okay. Hey, wave goodbye. <laughs> now you're embarrassed, huh? And goodbye, everybody. Ha, <laughs>